Hey, this is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick, and uh, really got a cool opportunity here. Navac shipped us out two of their new pumps, the 12 CFM pump, that's a DC motor, along with a 2 CFM pump that's actually also DC, but it's battery powered. And one of the things I wanted to show you was just how important it is to have the right rig tied to the vacuum pump. So here I got this 12 CFM tied in with the way almost everybody in the industry would tie it in. Four valve manifold, they got this nice Hillmore uh, wide ported manifold system here, tied to a set of, of typical red and blue charging hoses tied to my tank, half inch hose here off the pump, so we get that uh, additional evacuation speed. I actually tested this compared to a standard uh, three hose setup, and it's a whole heck of a lot faster than that. And then next to it, I got the two CFM pump, and it's hooked up to the true blue hoses and tied to exactly the same size tank here. So we'll be able to see really how fast these two systems pull down. So right here, I got the caps off of both these. I'm going to put them on here. So they're both open up the atmosphere, so you can see that. Uh, both tanks are actually uh, completely open, broken the vacuum on here, so we're, both gauges are in high pressure. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, restart the recording here and then start these pumps up. Now, these are DC pumps, so they start a little bit differently than a regular AC pump. They're soft start, so when you hear these things start up here, um, they're going to sound a little different than maybe you're used to. So both these are starting to run now. You can hear them both coming up to speed. And I'll be a second before they actually pull down and vacuum. Now this thing is pretty dang cool. It's a half horse power motor on here. It's rated at five microns, but it only draws about five amps of power. So you can run a 200 foot extension cord on this pump and it's gonna start up for you every time. Um, this is their pro grade series of pump. It's a really, really good pump. I actually haven't seen anything that performs quite as well as this. I've had this down to about two microns on our uh, True blue hoses are actually two microns just on the pump itself, and then on the uh, on the on the on the little guy here, um, we ran this for about an hour, I think, uh, overall. And uh, but now we're starting to make some progress here, so I want to show you what's happening. So just so you get this clear here, black hose on the on the big pump, black gauge, blue hose on the true blue, blue gauge. You can see right here that we're already. On the, on, the, on the big pump, we're already a little bit ahead here. So that hose, initially, this, this system has a little bit more flow initially at a higher pressure. Well, let's watch this and see what happens here because both these are coming off. They're on that spot where the, uh, where the gauges are on the indicator where they're really not reading uh, accurate vacuum yet. That'll happen at about 25,000 microns here. But we can definitely see the, the black gauge, the black hose, this 25 CFM pump is ahead. And for a lot of you guys, this is, this is what you'd expect to see. Bigger pump, four valve manifold. It's gonna definitely outperform this little tiny pump here. And uh, we'll watch this for a few minutes and see how it goes. And then once we get this uh, uh, a little bit further down the road, I'll, I'll show you. So gauge one, now we're reading vacuum here. This is actual vacuum here. And if you watch closely, <coughs> what you'll see here is these two systems are actually starting to converge. Now I'm going to change these targets here, I'm set 1,200 for this video, we'll set this up at, uh, oh let's say we'll set up at 500 and 1,000 on there, so we'll adjust these two targets and we'll hit the check mark on here, and uh, yes, and so all we're doing here is we just shift the targets up to 500 and 1,000, and you can see here what's happening is that little 2 CFM pump is starting to converge on this 25 CFM pump, or no, sorry, 12, not 25, 12 CFM pump. Think about that for a minute. 12 CFM, 2 CFM, right? Six times, six times the size of the pump. And look at what's happening here. We are about 2,700 microns here, and about 3,000 microns all of a sudden, that little tiny pump is starting to outperform that big pump, right? And you go, how in the heck is that even possible? Well, let's talk about what's happening here because when we're, when we're removing pressure from this tank, both these tanks were at atmospheric pressure. So initially, there's a lot of, of, of air to remove. And when there's a lot of air to remove, these, this bigger pump has the advantage. This thing is actually about, like I said, a 12 CFM pump. The rig that's tied to this is probably capable of about 4 CFM. And 
you think about what's happening here, we're choking this big pump down because the rig that's attached to it just can't handle the volume flow on it. But because this can handle 4 CFM, and we had this 2 CFM pump tied to here, the pump was initially the limiting factor. Now what's happened is, is the pump's no longer the limiting factor, but the hoses are. These hoses, because they're a quarter inch, are, are very, very restricted. They're actually good for about 0.7 or less than 1 CFM a piece. These true blue hoses are good for a full 16 CFM. So now the vacuum rig has become the restriction much more than the vacuum pump. So now what's happening is this 2 CFM pump is way outperforming. When you look at these graphs here, and I can tap on these so you can see here, on the black we're at 1400 microns and down below we're at 880. So we're almost twice as deep on this as, as that and we're still even going faster. So we'll watch this for just a few minutes and we'll see how long it takes down to get 500 and then we'll start the video back up again. All right, so we're getting really close right now. This one's down to about 500. If you look right here, this one is just crossing 1,000. So we're literally twice as deep right now with the true blue hoses and the 2 CFM pump as we were with the uh, 5 CFM pump. And we're at about six minutes in here. I'm going to hit cancel or, or continue on here. So I'll look, pull this up on a graph here so we can see this. 1,000 microns on here, 480 on there. So we're twice as deep on there, a little over twice as deep on the, on the vacuum on that thing. So pretty amazing how fast that came down. I'm going to hit uh, continue, the, continue the decay test. Actually, we're going to restart the evacuation test. So you can see here how fast this true blue rig actually pulls down in this 2 CFM pump. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause this for just a minute here and I'm going to kill this and I'm going to kill the, the 2 CFM pump for just a minute and I'm going to make this gauge quit beeping and I'm going to break the vacuum on this and break the vacuum on both of these for just a minute here. Now you saw that we're about 6-7 minutes to get that down but let me show you the difference here when we break this vacuum and tie it to a full-size pump. So you hear that vacuum going in? I'll drop this tank down, move this pump over here, and I uh, just got to switch some gaskets on here. But I want to see the tank's going to be broken to atmosphere for a few seconds here. So we'll give this uh, a little bit of time to uh, pull in moisture, you know, so it's... Uh, I just want to show you we're not just starting from scratch here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and connect this up to the half inch fitting here, and we'll let this thing pull down again. And if you're paying close attention to the video, you'll notice there's a slight commercial interruption there. I actually started, I connected the 3 8 fitting instead of the half here, so we had to stop, and I just had to reconnect it. So it's actually open for a few seconds longer, and that's why we have the, the line across the graph here. So now you get an opportunity to see how fast I can pull this back down with actually the... Uh, with a 25 CFM or 12 CFM pump and see the difference. So we'll start this guy back up here, been open for a few seconds, and uh, got all the gauges pulled down, open the atmosphere, and we're ready to roll here. So I'm gonna just check my caps, make sure everything's tight. Looks good, gas ballast is on, and we're starting to see that come down already. So while we had this long little couple, about, looks like about a minute there, you see we're already how straight down that's coming and how fast we can pull when we have a 12 CFM pump hooked up to hoses that can handle actually 16 CFM on flow. So now where we have this nice, nice long curve here with a 2 CFM pump, you see the advantage of the bigger pump is with the additional hose size and the flow, how fast we're going to pull down to 500 microns. So literally what took here about 7 minutes we're going to have done in about maybe a minute or so, maybe maybe two minutes of time on here. We can go back and look at that. Let me just show you the start time up top here. Uh, we were at uh, roughly, if I can put it over there, about 10 minutes, 52 seconds. So about, a, let's say, 11 minutes. And uh, down here at the bottom here, we're at 11.52. So we're 52 seconds in, right? So 10 minutes. Let me double check that again here. We'll go back up. So we're at 10.50, 11 minutes. And we're crossing here, down here at 12 minutes. So 11, the 12, so one minute. What took seven minutes here, now took one minute. And you can see we're still cranking down fast on that vacuum. So is there advantage to the 12 CFM pump? Absolutely. 
But is the 2CFM pump a viable solution? Again, absolutely. I don't care how big of a vacuum pump you have, if you hook it up to gauges like this, you're cranking, you're choking that thing down to about a 1CFM pump or less. And that's why we saw this happen right here where that 2CFM pump overtook that 12CFM pump. Think about what's going on here. It's all about conducting speed. So I think at the end of the day here, what's really important to understand is no matter what vacuum pump you buy, you got to hook it to the right rig. And if you're going to buy that small 2CFM pump, you better be hooking up the True Blue hoses because that's what's going to make that thing work. Very, very cool pump. And this is probably, you know, that tank's probably equivalent to about a two-ton system or so. And literally, we could have done that in somewhere around five to seven minutes, maybe ten minutes at most. But if that pump will run an hour on a 10 minute charge, we could probably do six to 10 systems off that little pump in a day. Very, very viable solution. So would I want to carry this thing? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I could probably put this thing in my pocket almost. It's so small and it's a, it's a really, really cool solution. So anyway, uh, just wanted to show you these two things. I thought it was really cool. We played around with it here in the office and I got, man, I got to do a video on this. And uh, you know, hopefully you guys got a little bit from this, but a really, really awesome solution. Really fast, really fun, and I think you guys are really like both these products if you get to try them in the field. This is Jim Bergman with Measure Quick. Thanks a lot for watching.